Okay, setting up my screen. Hello, everyone. It's me. It's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yay! Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a okay. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a okay. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat. <laughs> I don't see a yes yet. I do not see Y E S yet. Okay, now I do. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Kadeen says yes. Helga says yes. Nadine says yes. Betty says yes. Alexandra says yes. Hanan says yes. Okay, great. I'm in. Good. I'm happy you can see me and hear me. Okay, good. That means there are no technical difficulties. That means we could go ahead and start. Hello, Sylvia. I'm doing good. How about you? Uh, you need he. Hello. Okay, good. Uh, Setham. Hello, Setham. Okay. I'm so, I know I'm I, I know I'm mispronouncing your names, and I'm very sorry for mispronouncing your names. I, I really apologize for that. Okay, well, we always have a toast for good luck. We always start with a toast, and we will have two toasts. Yes, two toasts. Our first toast will be for the green team. Their names are in green. They support me. They support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team, the supporter who joined the channel. Hey, Sewu. Right there, Sebu, she's in green. She's a supporter. She joined my channel. Long time no see, Sebu. I hope you're doing well. Okay, let's give the green team a big thank you. Cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump, bump. Cheers, bump, cheers. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. Our second toast. It's for you because without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mmm. Ah, tastes good. Samuel is here. Hello, Samuel. Good to see Samuel, yay. Okay, let's talk about today's lesson plan. It is right here, this is what we're doing today. We are doing one, two, three, four, five, six. One, let me, let's look at this again. One, two, three, four, five. Six activities, wow, six. Usually we do five, but here there are six. Surprise, surprise, so I hope you are ready to practice your English with me and, of course, with the chat. And talking about the chat, you must be a subscriber to enter the chat. I do that to keep the bots out, to keep the spamming out, so we have a safe and fun place to practice our English together. And you will learn a lot in the chat. You will be able to do Two things, yes, two positive things. You will be able to practice your English and I will see your sentences. Plus, you will be helping other people because they will see your sentences. We learn by example, right? So the more examples we have, the better, the easier it is for us to, to learn that language pattern, to remember that language pattern, to learn the vocabulary, to re remember the vocabulary. So we need lots of examples. That's how we learn by examples. So the chat will provide you with many, many examples. So you are helping yourself by practicing 
and you're helping other people because they will see your your words, your vocabulary, your sentences. So we're all in this together. We are we are all learning together. We are all practicing together. Okay, good, good. All right, Deva, hello, hello. Okay, let's get right into it. Let's start and we are starting with form a sentence. I'm going to write a pattern on the board and you will write sentences based on the pattern. Okay, here we go. Activity number one, form a sentence. Form a sentence. <clears throat> and it goes like this. We have been, and then you have to put the verb in. It's an ing word, an ing verb and finish the sentence. We have been, mm, mm. so for example, we have been, we could say waiting for the bus. Okay, we have been waiting for the bus, for example. Air lady, hello, air lady. Matsura, hello, Matsura. Umesh, hello, Umesh. Uh oh, I have to sneeze. Write your sentences in the chat. I have to sneeze. Oh boy. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Oh boy. Okay, let's see your sentences. I'm looking at the chat. Neva, we have been waiting for this class. Thank you for doing that. Mwah. Thank you for waiting for me. Helga, we have been listening to Mark. Oh, Helga, thank you for doing that. Mwah. Thank you. Bethy, we have been working since eight in the morning. Good for you. Umesh, we have been booking tickets. Where are you going? We have been watching this class. Thank you for doing that, Umesh. We have been drinking wine, okay. Hanan, we have been in a meeting. Very good. Matsu, we have been waiting for my son. Okay, good. So, Great sentences so far. Everybody's doing good. So, Matsa, uh, we have been waiting for my son. So, you don't need the, no, the. Helga, we have been answering the questions. Umesh, we have been waiting for Mark's lesson. Mark's lesson. So, not the, but just Mark's lesson because I am a proper noun. People's names, right? Names, countries, cities, those are proper nouns. We don't use the articles in front of proper nouns. So this, this is just a normal noun, the, a bus. And the bus, that's a specific bus. You're waiting for that particular bus, right? Maybe um, it's bus number 43. And so that's a particular bus. And so we use the. We have been waiting for the bus. Or you could say, we have been waiting for bus 43, right? Okay. Air lady, we have been painting the house all week. Good, air lady. Nice sentence. Katie, we have been walking for a long time. That's good. Good exercise. Sebu, we have been working for the project. Good. I know you're always busy, Sebu. Helga, we have been eating pizza. Oh, lucky. Hanan, we have been doing our work. Great sentences. Like I said before, 
We learn by examples, and you're seeing lots of examples, lots of great examples, lots of sentences, lots of vocabulary. Hanan, we have been doing our work. We have been sitting idly. We have been trying to frame a sentence. You're doing well. You framed it very well. <laughs> Bethy, we have been waiting in line for one hour. Oh, that's a long time to be waiting in line. Samuel, we have been waiting for Mark's class since 8 o'clock. Thank you, Samuel. Matsura, we have been waiting for Mark's class. Thank you, Matsura. Air Lady, I did, I read your sentence, Air Lady. It was a good sentence. Hane, we have been drinking wine. Umesh, we have been making mistakes in English all the time. Of course, that's natural, making mistakes. That's part of learning. The, the important thing is fixing your mistakes. Cecilia, how are you? We're just started doing form a sentence. So you're okay. Actually, we're going to change topics. We're going to change activities very soon here. You're welcome, Erle. That was a good sentence. Umesh, we have been watching Mark's videos. Thank you, Umesh. Cecilia, we have been studying for a long time. Good. Neva, we have been discussing about this topic. Good. All right, Air Lady. We have been solving a problem. Okay, good, good. Nice sentences. What can I say? We have been trying to come up with new sentences. Okay, Neva. All right, well, let's change topics here. Okay, Neva. Uh, we, we have been riding horses. Matsa, we have been waiting for... <clears throat> okay, yeah, so we have been waiting for our car to be fixed. Matsa, we have been waiting for our car to be fixed. One more time. We have been waiting for our car to be fixed. Say what we have been saving money for the dominant. I don't know what that is. Your last word, dominant? Dominate? One more time, say what. Okay, let's change activities. Let's do activity number two now, okay? That was really good, everyone. Nice sentences. Well done. <clears throat> Veronica, we have been waiting for Mark's live stream. Thank you so much. Kidding, we have been studying English since this morning. Nice sentence, everyone. Great job. Yeah, we've been doing this present perfect continuous for a while. And I can see how everyone, you're getting smoother and smoother. Your sentences are becoming smoother and smoother more and more natural. Great job. See, the more practice we do, the better we get, right? <laughs> okay, number two. Activity number two. And it's number two, and number two is the two-minute topic talk. Two-minute topic talk. Because number two. <laughs> okay, two-minute topic talk. Okay. <clears throat> We've been doing, oh, donation. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. <clears throat> that makes sense. We have been saving money for the donation. Okay. That's much better, Sewu. Very good. Very good. That's nice. Sewu has um, been saving money to give to people who are less fortunate than her. That's great. That's great. Good thing to do. Yeah, okay, Matsura, see, I said it, it's natural to make mistakes, but the important thing is to fix your mistakes. And Matsura just did that. We have been waiting for our car to be fixed. Okay, it is time for the two minute topic talk. We've been doing this for the last few weeks, as you know. There are topics. <laughs> we choose one topic and we talk about it for two minutes. So 
I will go first. I will choose a topic and I will talk two minutes. Ah, I have a timer right here. I will talk for two minutes about this topic into the camera, into my computer. You will listen to me carefully. And then after two minutes, the timer will go beep, beep, beep. Then we switch. You talk for two minutes into your computer and I will listen to you. Okay. So this is for your fluency practice. This is speaking practice. You're going to choose a topic and talk two minutes about the topic. It might be strange at first, just talking into the computer, but it's practice. Yeah. And that's what we are doing here. We are practicing. So I'm going to show you the topics and the topic sheet is on my Patreon page. Go there, support me on Patreon and you get all the worksheets and cards we do in the live stream class. Help me so I can help you. Mwah. Okay. Let's have a look at the topics. All right. Here they are on the screen right now. Let's make them larger and let's okay. Repeat after me, please repeat after me. Let's say these topics, friends, laundry, school clubs, hairstyles, dating, daily routine, exercise, children, cooking, science, restaurants, photography, snacks, holidays, traveling, money, concerts, housework, part-time jobs, television, computers, free time, spring, meals, my future, YouTube, shopping. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time for practice. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Say the words with me. <clears throat> Friends, laundry, school clubs, hairstyles, dating, daily routine, exercise, children, cooking, science, restaurants, photography. <clears throat> Snacks, holidays, traveling, money concerts, ho uh, <laughs> sorry, housework, part-time jobs, television, computers, free time, spring, meals, my future, YouTube, shopping. Okay. Those are the topics. Choose one, choose one topic and talk about it. Choose a topic and talk about it. So I will go first. So I'm going to choose a topic. Let's see. And today, so right here, these are for the squares are for the date. So we know what topic we talked about and when we talked about it. So I'm going to choose an, and every, every time we choose a new topic. So after we finish, there are many topics that you will have talked about. Okay. So today is May 12th and today I will, okay. I'll talk about cooking today. Cooking five, 12. So I'm going to write there's, where's cooking, where's cooking, here's cooking and today's the 12th. So the other day I talked about concerts. And today I will talk about cooking. Okay. I have a timer. So I'm going to set the timer for two minutes. One, two. So two minutes. Give me 30 seconds to think about what I'm going to say. <clears throat> so I hope you did you choose your topic. Are you thinking about your topic right now? Okay. Cooking.
Okay, I'm ready. I will talk two minutes about cooking, and then after two minutes, we're going to switch. Then it will be your turn to talk about your topic. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Let me, I'll put it. No, it has to be this hand. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move this over, the sheet over a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, I need to adjust something real quick here. Okay. Okay, countdown. I will talk about cooking for two minutes. Countdown, five, four, three, two, one, start. I used to do more cooking um, than now because now I'm very busy. Usually the cooking I do is barbecuing on the weekends. I like barbecuing and I make breakfast and lunch, but very simple <laughs> because of, of time. And I like simple food actually. So in the mornings I make oatmeal and then I put bananas in my oatmeal. I put dried fruit in my oatmeal. I put seeds. I put um, a banana. I, did I say banana? Banana, I put some flax seed in my oatmeal. I put chia seeds in my oatmeal. And it's a very nutritious breakfast. I enjoy it. And it keeps me filled up till, till lunchtime. And for lunch, if I'm working in my office, I, I walk home and I'll make a, a sandwich, usually maybe a simple egg sandwich. But um, for dinner, my wife does the cooking. I used to, when I had more time, I would um, sometimes on the weekend, I would get a, a, a cookbook, look through the cookbook, find an interesting recipe and try it. Um, for me, I'm, I'm slow at cooking. And so when I used to um, cook on the weekend, I would, it would take me a lot, of, a lot of time. I'd make a big mess, but it, it was, Fun, right and I could and it and most of my cooking tastes pretty good <laughs> but it took me a long time and I made a big mess in the kitchen but these days all I'm doing is barbecuing uh, making breakfast and lunch I'm not cooking for the family much okay that was two minutes and I'm finished now it's your turn to talk for two minutes about your topic Okay, here we go. I gotta keep it in this hand. Okay, are you ready? You're gonna talk two minutes about one of these topics in your computer for two minutes, all right? It is fluency practice. It is English speaking practice for you. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. We're counting down and I'm, I'm listening carefully, so don't worry. I'm listening to you. So you're not talking alone. You're not speaking to, you're not speaking by yourself to no one. No, you're speaking to me. I'm listening to you very closely, carefully. Okay, here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, start. I'm listening.
Okay, that was two minutes. <laughs> How'd you do? Okay, so we do it every week, and so you're gonna get better and better at it. So don't be shy. <laughs> don't be shy. Okay, good, good. All right, that was. It, it, it's a good activity. It, it's good. It's good practice for you. And、um, the thing is, you have to. You have to think about these topics and give your opinion, right? So communication is expressing your ideas, expressing your opinion, and these are some topics that will、um, help you give. Well, I want you to express your opinion about a topic, right? For two minutes, and that's communication. So, good job, everyone. And two minutes maybe seems like oh. That's a short time, but actually, it's a long time to be speaking in English, right? So, two minutes—it's a challenge. It sounds like it's a short time, but actually, when you are doing it,、um, it's it's difficult for sure. I do it in my university classes every week with all my students, and、um, they enjoy it. But you know, it, it's a challenge, right? They have to stay in English for two minutes, talking about one topic, and.、Um, It's a it's a good it's good practice for sure. Okay, let's go to activity number three. Oh, let me I need to take down our topic sheet. And it's on my Patreon. Everyone, help me there. Support me on Patreon, and you get all the worksheets and cards we do in our live stream class. Help me here. Support me here. That would be great. Okay, our third activity is oh, a conversation from my book. Fifty very short conversations. This is book three. So let's write it on the board here. Number three, conversation. <clears throat> So what we're going to do is I'm going to read the conversation to you three times, then I will write it on the board, and then we will practice the conversation together. We will do it together. We will be the conversation. And today's conversation is number fourteen, and that's on page nineteen. So here is the conversation. I will read it three times. Then I will write it on the board, and then we will practice it together. Okay? So let's do it, shall we? I'm going to read it three times. Please listen carefully. Here we go. <clears throat> okay. Countdown: five, four, three, two, one. I like this one. What size would you like? A small, please. A small, really? <laughs> yes. And stop being rude. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> Here we go. Second time. I'd like this one. What size would you like? A small, please. A small, really? Yes. And stop being rude. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> one more time. Here we go. Third time. I'd like this one. What size would you like? A small, please. A small, really? Yes. And stop being rude. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna write it on the board. I read it to you three times. Here is. Here's the conversation, fourteen,、so、and then it continues down here, and then there's extra practice over here. Okay, let's practice together. I will write it on the board, and we will say the conversation together. We will practice pronunciation. We will practice speed. We will say it slowly and quickly. All right, A says. I'd like this one. I'd like 
this one. Okay, let's say the sentence. I'd like this one. I'd like this one. I'd like this one. I'd equals I would. Okay. I'd like this one. I would like this one. I would like this one. I'd like this one. B says, what size would you like? What size would you like? Okay, let's do it three times. What size would you like? What size would you like? What size would you like? I'd like this one. What size would you like? A says, a small, please. A small, please. Okay. A small, please. A small, please. A small, please. A small, please. I like this one. What size would you like? A small, please. B says, a small? Really? A small? Really? Uh oh. <laughs> a small? Really? A small? Really? A small? Really? Okay, here we go. From the beginning. I'd like this one. What size would you like? A small, please. A small, really? <laughs> A says, yes, and stop being rude. Yes, and stop being rude. Okay. Yes, and stop being rude. Yes, and stop being rude. Yes, and stop being rude. Okay, from the beginning, I like this one. What size would you like? A small, please. A small? Really? Yes, and stop being rude. <laughs> B says, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Okay, that, let's practice that three times. Here we go. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Okay, let's start from the beginning. I'd like this one. What size would you like? A small, please. A small? Really? Yes, and stop being rude. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> All right, and let me show you the, the picture here. So this conversation, they're at a clothing store, right? And A is the customer. And B is the sales clerk or sales person right there. I'd like this one. What size would you like? Okay. Um, okay, now let's do it together. Let's be the conversation. I will be A, so I will say A. And you are B, you will say B, right? So you say, what size would you like? A small, really? I'm sorry, please forgive me. So you are the salesperson. I'm the customer. I'm A. Okay, so let's do it. We'll do it three times and then we will switch. Okay, let's count down. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. I'd like this one. A small, please. <laughs> Yes, and stop being rude. 
I'm leaving this store. You are rude. You are a rude person. I'm leaving. <laughs> okay, I need I need uh, some some water here. Okay, here we go. Second time, I'm A, you are B. Five, four, three, two, one. I like this one. A small, please. Yes, and stop being rude. I'm going to another store. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. All right, here we go. Third time is the charm. I'm A, you're B. Countdown five, four, three, two, one. I'd like this one. A small, please. Yes, and stop being rude. <laughs> ah, I'm angry. You are, you are being mean to me. <laughs> okay, good, good. All right, we are switching now. You are A, you are the customer. I'm B, I'm the sales person, okay? Let's do it. You are A, I am B. We will do it three times. A, 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 B, B, B. Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go. What size would you like? A small? Really? <laughs> I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> you are very slim. You are very, you are in, in good shape. You have a good body. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, here we go. Second time, you're A, I am B. Countdown, five, four, three, two, one, go. What size would you like? A small, really? <laughs> I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I was being silly. I'm very sorry. Please forgive me. I was just joking around. <laughs> Here we go. Third time. You are A. I'm B. Five, four, three, two, one, go. What size would you like? A small? Really? I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. All right. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun. So that was the conversation. And basically the point of this lesson, I'd, right? I would. I like this one. So you are choosing an item in the clothing store and choosing a size okay all right all right all right so let's go to our next activity this is an idiom worksheet and it was done by the green team the green team so number four is the idiom and today's idiom is go to pieces go to pieces uh so number four right yes four so we got one, two, three, and here's four, and it's um, go to pieces. Go to pieces. And um, it is an idiom. And it means to lose control. Okay, so the idiom go to pieces, it means to lose control and you could be like when you go to pieces, you can be very angry or you could be very sad. You lose control of your, of your um, self, right? You, many people at a funeral, will go to pieces. Um, maybe a sad story, you will go to pieces. Maybe you're watching a movie and it, it 
brings out emotions in you and you go to pieces from your emotions okay and we will look at sentences that were done by the green team and then you will make your own sentences okay so let's look at the example right we learn by examples and so we will look at the examples and then you will write sentences okay so let's first look at the examples from the green team okay all right so go to pieces to lose control and we have and again the green team you could see the 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 emoji the green team emoji and our first person is raj raj's sentence when my mother passed away in 2011 i went to pieces one more time when i no 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 when my mother passed away in 2011 i went to pieces so that means when um when raj's mother passed away when she died um, raj was very very sad she lost control of her emotions maybe doing a lot of crying air lady her sentence every time he's faced with a problem he goes to pieces one more time every time he's faced with a problem he goes to pieces so he's not able to control himself so when there's a problem maybe he, he becomes super angry or he becomes um recluse like he he wants to just run away from the problem so he goes to pieces he can't control himself good sentence there lady miley her sentence martin luther king said even if the world goes to pieces tomorrow we should still want to plant our apple tree that's a great quote there okay one more time martin luther king said even if the world goes to pieces tomorrow we should still want to plant our apple tree so there this means um that even though you have you're facing difficulties you still want to do your best the you want to to um, prosper in the future right plant your apple tree uh, apples they represent wisdom right and so um, even though today it's very difficult tomorrow you want to keep improving you want to keep you want life to be better so that's a, a great quote good one miley good good choice lolly's sentence after a serious accident my friend went to pieces after a serious car accident my friend went to pieces so not literally go to pieces not like your body falls apart but emotionally so maybe uh, lolly's friend maybe had you know hurt their legs or arms you know some people have a um have an accident and they can't walk after that or you know they have major major injury and so maybe they can't control their emotions because of you know their accident so i hope lolly's friend is doing better okay marion sentence everything is going to pieces thanks to the hubris of the boss everything is going to pieces thanks to the herb hubris herb ah. Ah, one more time hubris hubris of the boss i'm going to say that one more time everything is going to pieces thanks to the hubris of the boss so hubris means the boss thinks he is the best right or she is the best so whatever they say is correct don't 
question. I know what I'm doing and uh, everything will be great because I am great, <laughs> but it's not true. So everything is going to pieces. So the, the boss is not looking at reality. And so everything is, everything is going out of control. The office is going out of control. The company is going out of control. So that's not good. The boss should be listening to the people working there, right? Okay. Here we go. Our next sentence by Mary. He's always so nervous at exams that he goes to pieces. He's always so nervous at exams that he goes to pieces. That means <laughs> like, like this happens to many people, right? You take a big exam and you can't think, you, you, you forget everything. You studied very hard, but you forgot everything because you were too nervous. And so you couldn't control your emotions. Uh, you got nervous and forgot everything and therefore did a bad test. You failed the test because you went to pieces. Okay. Good sentence, Mary. Ava sentence. I think sometimes everyone goes to pieces for something. I think sometimes everyone goes to pieces for something. I like it, Ava. So we all face difficulties. We all from time to time go to pieces. We can't control our emotions because of some circumstance, something happened. And so you lose control. You don't think straight. You get too emotional. Good one, Ava. Okay. And we have Tomas. I went to pieces when I saw my beloved Elizabeth pass away. I went to pieces when I saw my beloved Elizabeth pass away. So Tomas, he lost his wife. She passed away. She, she died. And so um, he saw that happen and he lost control. And that's, of course, natural, right? You lose your, your spouse. You lose a family member and it's natural to, to lose control, get emotional, cry, mourn, right? It, it's grieve. It's all that's natural. We all do that. So, okay. Those are sentences by the green team. Now it's your turn to make sentences using go to pieces, right? Oh, you can't see go to pieces. Okay. Lose control. And we have examples, right? We got examples. So please write sentences using go to pieces. Helga, when the world went to pieces because of the war, our people cleaned houses and around of them from broken glass and parts of the houses and planted flowers. Okay, hold on, Helga. When the world went to pieces because of the war, our people cleaned houses. They cleaned broken glass, parts of their house, and planted flowers. Umesh, I go to pieces when I don't get what I want. Oh, don't do that. That's the, that's being spoiled. Kid, children do that, right? Children, you know, they want a toy. The, the mother or father says no. And the kid goes to pieces, starts crying, throwing a tantrum, sits on the floor. No, nah, I'm not moving. I want the toy. I want the toy. Okay, Helga, when the world went to pieces because of the war, our people cleaned 
their houses. And then maybe this is what you, you want to do, Helga. We can fix your sentence. Uh, when the world went to pieces because of the war, our people cleaned their houses, colon, bro, um, uh, cleaned up the broken glass, cleaned up parts of the broken houses, <laughs> and planted flowers for the future. Bethy, um, he had gone to pieces when he knew his wife had an affair. Bethy, good sentence. Umesh, I went to pieces when I was denied a chance to tour Europe. Good sentence. 7413. My plane goes to pieces when I was parachuting. <laughs> no, no, no. So, okay, so maybe you're thinking, so go to pieces is not literal like broken and psh, psh, psh. It's like emotionally people. So people go to pieces in this situation, this idiom. You go to pieces, not the airplane. Okay? So that means you lose control of yourself, your emotions. Lose control of your emotions. Okay? So 7413, one more time. It's people go to pieces, not things. Okay? You lose control of your emotions because of something bad happened. Helga, when I think what happened to my city and our people, I go to pieces. Yeah, I, I do too. I watch the news and I get angry. Just... Yeah, it makes me angry. It's not fair, right? It's like injustice. When you see when you see things that are unfair, it makes you angry, right? You go to pieces because you can't control, you know, you can't control it. You see what happens and you know it's not right. Okay, Umesh, my brother went to pieces when he didn't make IIT. Make, make it to IIT. Bethy, my friend went to pieces as he was bitten by my neighbor's dog. Good, good. You're using, Bethy, that's good. You're using that, the, the, the pattern we did on two on Wednesday, right? Tuesday and Wednesday was bitten by. That's good. You, see, Bethy's doing a great. What Bethy's doing, she's connecting. We we like here, you know, form a sentence, and we did was like um, I was bitten by uh, mm, on my mm, right. So for example, I was bitten by a mosquito on my arm and Bethy using the idiom and that pattern he had gone to pieces when he knew his oh, wait no 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 which one was it yeah my friend went to pieces as he was bitten by my neighbor's dog so nice you're that's great I love to see that connections right something what we learned and you're you're putting something you learned in the past to something now and so you're making connections you're building your language skills well done happy to see that samuel when my sorry sorry when many of iranian young killed in demonstrations i was oh, okay samuel when many Iranian, young Iranians, when many young Iranians were killed, were killed in demonstrations, I really went to pieces. Okay, good sentence, Samuel. We just have to change a little bit. When many young Iranians 
were killed. Kayleen, if you go to pieces, don't worry. Time will take care of it. Nice, Kayleen. I like it. Right? So Kayleen's sentence. Um, whatever happens, we will get through it. Right? Kind of like what Martin Luther King uh, Miley said. Right? So Martin Luther King said, even if the world goes to pieces tomorrow, we should still want to plant our apple tree. Right? So, so it will get better. We, we, we need to look to the future, right? It will get better. 7413, we went to pieces when I know the nuclear warhead was fired in Ukraine. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. We don't want that. We must not go to pieces because life is too short. Okay, yep. Yeah. Stay strong. You're welcome, Bethy. That was terrific. That was really well done, Bethy. Okay, I'm looking at the clock. We got to change activities. Let's change. Hey, Merlin, Merlin, Merlin. Hello, hello. Okay, we're changing activities now. And the, the worksheets are on my Patreon. So this idiom worksheet is on my Patreon. Support me on, on Patreon and you get the worksheets, okay? So please do that. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's go to our next activity. Our next activity is Dictation cards, dictation cards. So number five, dictation cards. Okay, and we're gonna have four steps. Step one is dictation. Step two, shadow. Step three, take turns. And step four is a quiz. Okay, so I have some dictation cards right here. And you will listen. Hello, is that, is that Timothy? Your, your name is back in Korean? <laughs> Or is that a different person? Okay, so we're gonna do dictation cards. And so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight cards. I will say the sentences. <clears throat> you will listen carefully. And I, so dictation, you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word. I'm gonna read each card three times. You're going to listen carefully and write down the word, the sentence, word by word. You're going to write the sentence word by word, okay? <clears throat> so that's listening and writing practice. Then after that, step two is shadowing. That is listening and speaking practice. So the second part is speaking practice. Then after that, the third part, we will take turns. I will say the sentence, then you will say the sentence. And then the fourth part, step four, is a quiz, okay? So, <clears throat> let's see, Air Lady, I am going, I am going to pieces when I open the refrigerator and need to go shopping. <laughs> okay, good. So, Air Lady, I am going to go to pieces. I am going to go to pieces. Okay, here we go. I'm... So do you have a pencil? You need a pencil and you need paper, okay? You have your pencil and paper ready. And I am not going to show you the sentence or the picture. So you have to just listen and write. So it might be difficult, but that's okay. That's how we get better. But then 
after we shadow, I will show you the sentence and the picture. Okay, so don't worry. First part, part one, just listen and write. Do your best. Okay, it is practice dictation time. Okay, here we go. Wait, wait. Oh, there's Timothy. Okay, Timothy, um, the person above you. Is that your? Okay, I'm confused. Timothy, I'm confused. Okay, here we go. Card number one, countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, please write the sentence. I'm making stew with leftovers. Oh, the topic is in the kitchen. I'm sorry. So the topic is in the kitchen. So that's the topic in the kitchen. Okay, in the kitchen. That is the topic. And card number one, do it again. I'm going to read each sentence three times, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. I'm making stew with leftovers. Okay, here's the second time. I'm making stew with leftovers. Third time. I'm making stew with leftovers. Okay, that was card number one. Okay, here we go. Card number two. I'm making dough for tonight's pizza. Second time. I'm making dough for tonight's pizza. Third time. I'm making dough for tonight's pizza. Okay, card number three. <clears throat> Who wants bacon and eggs for breakfast? Second time. Who wants bacon and eggs for breakfast? Third time. Who wants bacon and eggs for breakfast? Card number four. Here we go. Card number four. That's an awesome cake. Second time. That's an awesome cake. Third time. That's an awesome cake. Card number five. Let's have garlic bread with our salad. Okay, here we go, second time. Let's have garlic bread with our salad. Here we go, third time. Let's have garlic bread with our salad. Okay, here we go. Number six, card number six. I'm busy getting dinner ready. 
second time. I'm busy getting dinner ready. Here we go. Third time. I'm busy getting dinner ready. Okay, card number seven. Here we go. Number seven. We got two more. Two more. Here is number seven. <clears throat> You're getting pretty good at cooking. You're getting pretty good at cooking. You're getting pretty good at cooking. Last card, number eight. Countdown, five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> I'm doing the finishing touches for the meal. I'm doing the finishing touches for the meal. I'm doing the finishing touches for the meal. Okay, that was dictation. Let's check it off. You did it. Okay, step two now, shadowing. That is speaking practice. Step one, dictation. You are listening and writing. Yeah, you, are, you had your paper. You're listening to my sentences and you're writing the sentences, right? Now it is speaking practice. You're going to be listening and speaking, not writing, but speaking. So input, output, input, output. You're using two skills at the same time. You're using your listening skills and speaking skills. Okay. Here we go. Are you ready? It's time to say the sentence. After we do it three times, I will show you the sentence. You will see the picture. You will see the sentence. So then you can check your sentences and see if your writing was correct or not. Okay, here we go. Shadowing time, speaking time. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm making stew with leftovers. I'm making stew with leftovers. I'm making stew with leftovers. Okay, now I'm going to show you the sentence. I'm making stew with leftovers. So stew is kind of like a heavy soup, right? Usually it's like a beef stew or something. There's like meat in it. And it's a thick sauce. And then leftovers is like yesterday's food. Let's say you made, um, let's say you had steak yesterday for dinner. Well, maybe you didn't finish all the steak, and so you have steak that's left over from yesterday. So you don't throw it away. No, it's good steak. So just change it to something else. So you can make a, a beef stew, right? So you have the steak. Maybe you add some uh, carrots and some celery and potatoes, and you can make a stew, a steak stew from the leftovers. For example, I'm making stew with leftovers, right? So don't throw the food away. Change it. Make something new with it. <laughs> Here we go. Card number two. I'm making dough for tonight's pizza. I'm making dough for tonight's pizza. I'm making dough for tonight's pizza. I'm making dough for tonight's pizza, right? So dough is flour and water, and that's the base of the pizza, right? So you have the dough, that's the crust, and then you put the, the tomato sauce, the cheese, and toppings. So 
It is handmade pizza, which is delicious. I'm making dough for tonight's pizza. I'm hungry. <laughs> Card number three. <clears throat> Who wants bacon and eggs for breakfast? 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 So here she's offering, who wants bacon and eggs? So she's making bacon and eggs. It's breakfast time. So who wants bacon and eggs? I do, I do, or no, thank you. <laughs> so she's offering um, food, right? She's making breakfast and she's asking who wants what she is cooking. Card number four. That's an awesome cake. That's an awesome cake. That's an awesome cake. That's an awesome cake. So awesome means great. And so here they made a great cake, right? Wow, that's awesome. That is, you did a really good job. That is excellent. That's great. That's a fantastic cake. That's an awesome cake. Okay, number five. Let's have garlic bread with our salad. 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 So I don't know about you, but I like salad with, I like garlic bread and salad. I think that's a good combination. You have your salad, right? You have lettuce, tomato, onions, and then um, a piece of garlic bread. And I, I like those two together. I think if you make a salad, make some garlic bread and they go well together. Let's have garlic bread with our salad. Okay, here we go. Number six. Number six. I'm busy getting dinner ready. 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 So I'm busy, so I can't help you. I'm sorry, I'm getting dinner ready. I'm busy. So maybe somebody is asking him, oh, can you help me move the sofa? Can you help me um, take out the trash? Can you go to the store? No, 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 I can't do anything. I am busy making dinner, right? I can't do anything else because I'm making dinner. So don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm busy making dinner, or actually I'm busy getting dinner ready. I'm getting, no. I'm busy getting dinner ready, so don't talk to me. Don't bother me. I'm doing this, so please leave me alone. <laughs> Here we go, number seven. You're getting pretty good at cooking. 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 <laughs> so, right? There's like cooking is there takes skill, right? You, it's something you can get better at. It's something you can improve at, right? Cooking is a skill. There are professional chefs, right? And they, and they are great cooks. They make a good living. They have a good job and they're trained and it's something that you can get better at. It's a skill. So this person is getting better at cooking. Okay, here we go. Last card, number eight. I'm doing the finishing touches for the meal. 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 So everything's done basically. And so you just put in, putting on the, the, the making it um, Let's see, putting on the garnishes, um, just the finishing touches needs a little bit of 
a little bit of, of, of pepper, a little bit of salt, put a little piece of oregano there, move this around. So it's done, but I can, I can just, I can put it on the plate a little nicer. I could make it look a little tastier, right? And so I'm just doing the finishing touches. I'm doing the finishing touches for the meal. Just adding a little bit. It's, it's basically done. I'm just adding a little bit of beauty to the food, adding some beauty to the food. Okay, good, good. That was shadowing. We said the sentences together. Now it's time to take turns. No, what we're gonna do now is I have a card right here and I will say the sentence and then you will say the sentence. But when it's your turn, I'm gonna cover the sentence. So you have to look at the picture and say the sentence. So by looking at the picture, that's gonna help you remember the sentence, okay? So let's take turns. When I'm speaking, you are listening. And when you are speaking, I am listening, okay? So I'm first, I'm gonna say the sentence, so please listen, and then you will say the sentence. Okay, here we go. It's my turn. I'm making stew with leftovers. Okay, now it's your turn. You have to say the sentence. I'm making stew with leftovers. Okay, I'm making stew with leftovers. I'm making dough for tonight's pizza. I'm making dough for tonight's pizza. I'm making dough for tonight's pizza. Who wants bacon and eggs for breakfast? Who wants bacon and eggs for breakfast? Who wants bacon and eggs for breakfast? That's an awesome cake. That's an awesome cake. That's an awesome cake. Let's have garlic bread with our salad. Let's have garlic bread with our salad. Let's have garlic bread with our salad. I'm busy getting dinner ready. I'm busy getting dinner ready. I'm busy getting dinner ready. Okay, here we go, number seven. You're getting pretty good at cooking. You're getting pretty good at cooking. You're getting pretty good at cooking. Okay, here we go, last card, number eight. I'm doing the finishing touches for the meal.
I'm doing the finishing touches for the meal. I'm doing the finishing touches for the meal. Okay. All right. Good, good, good. That was taking turns. I said the sentence, then you said the sentence. So now it's time for the quiz. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to shuffle the cards and then I'm going to take the first three cards, cover the sentence. You have to write the sentence in the chat. Yeah. It's a challenge. But that's why you are here. So here we go. Shuffle, shuffle. Okay. Here we go. Okay. I'm done shuffling, maybe. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to stop now okay <laughs> okay i'm going to choose the first three cards you're going to see the picture and then write the sentence in the chat here we go card number one please write the sentence in the chat here we go card number one write the sentence in the chat okay matsura <laughs> What is the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. Okay, Helga's on the board. Helga's got her sentence. She's on the board. Matsura's on the board. Timothy's on the board. Okay, I see Kayleen's sentence. Write the sentence in the chat. Okay, let's have a look. Samuel's on the board. Here we go. And the sentence is good. I'm making dough for tonight's pizza. I'm making <clears throat> I'm making dough for tonight's pizza. Okay, good, good, good. All right, here we go. Card number two. Here we go. Number two. Write the sentence in the chat. Number two. There we go. Card number two. Write the sentence in the chat. Do you remember the sentence? Do you remember the sentence? Okay, Helga's on the board. Okay, Umesh is on the board. Cecilia is on the board. Katie, Samuel. Okay. Okay, let's have a look at the sentence. Here we go. Bringing it down. Da -na 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 -na. Yes, I'm making stew with leftovers. Good. One more time. I'm making stew with 
Leftovers. Okay, good. One more. Here we go. Card number three. Write the sentence in the chat. This is a long one. <laughs> Here we go. Do you remember the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. This, this is a difficult one. This one is, this one might be difficult. It's a little long. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It's a challenge. Do you remember this sentence? Oh, Matra, Helga. Okay, nice, nice. Okay. Okay. All right, you guys remembered. Nice. I'm happy. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Let's let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, good, Katie. Everyone, good. I'm doing the finishing touches for the meal. I'm doing the finishing touches for the meal. Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, well done. Yeah, that was dictation practice. Dictation cards. You did it. We did four steps for your success. Four steps for your success. Yay. <laughs> good, good, good. All right. Let's do our second activity. And this is a um, form a sentence like our first activity, but a different um, grammar point. Okay. So number six. Where can I write? We've got some space. We got some space right here. Okay, number six. I'll put that right here. Number six. <clears throat> and this is the pattern. If I were you, comma, I would. And then you're going to finish the sentence. If I were you, I would. If I were you, I would. Now, I'm going to give you some, some problems and you give me advice, okay? So we're using this for advice. Okay, advice. So <clears throat> if I were you, I would. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a problem. I'm going to tell you a problem and then you give me advice, okay? And so your sentence is, if I were you, I would, okay? Here we go. I have a toothache. I have a toothache, okay? So what is your advice? I have a toothache. Okay, I have a toothache. And then in the chat, you're going to write, if I were you, I would. Okay, good, good. Never. Okay, the dentist. I would visit the dentist. Very good. I have a toothache. I have a toothache. If I were you, I would. And then finish the sentence. Timothy. If I were you, I would see a dentist. Perfect. I have a toothache. I have a toothache. <laughs> Samuel, if I were you, I would go to the dentist. Good. Now, make sure you have the comma, everybody. So if I were, it's very important. This is an if clause. So please write your comma right there. If I were you, comma. I would. Please, please do that. Okay, so we got 
we we got a consensus here. Everyone's saying, go see the dentist, go see the dentist. Okay, good. Okay, here we go. Another problem number two. Problem so problem number one, I have a toothache. Problem number two. I have an I have an exam coming up. I have an upcoming exam. I have an upcoming exam. I have I have an upcoming exam. Oh no, I have a problem. I have an upcoming exam. Oh, I have a problem. I have an upcoming exam. Okay, Helga, if I were you, I would study hard. <laughs> good, good. Oh no, I have an upcoming exam. I have an upcoming exam. Okay, we're getting consensus, consensus, consensus. Timothy, if I were you, I would study harder. Hanan, if I were you, I would study hard. Samuel, if I were you, I would study harder. If I were you, I would study hard. Okay, so we have consensus. Everyone's saying study hard. <laughs> okay, good, good. Okay, here we go. Third, third problem. Problem number three. I have a money emergency. Oh, no. I have a money emergency. What should I do? Give me advice. I have a money emergency. I have a money emergency. I have a money emergency. Please help <laughs> your mom. So, so Neva, if I were you, I would ask your mom. If I were you, I would ask your friend. So I have, I have a um, money emergency. So you want to say your friends, your mom. Okay, Umesh, if I were you, I would consult the bank. Helga, if I were you, I would save money. Sylvia, if I were you, okay, I would study harder. Okay, Samuel, if I were you, I would borrow from someone. Good. Don't forget the, the comma here. If I were you, comma. If I were you, comma. Mata, if... I were you, I would save money. Timothy, if I were you, I would tell your mother. Hanan, if I were you, I would go shopping. <laughs> oh no, I have a money emergency. Hanan, go shopping. <laughs> Neva, if I were you, I would borrow some money from your parents, your parents. Kidding. if I were you, I would borrow from the bank. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, we got another, we got more problems here. We got one, two, three. Um, okay, here we go. Next, next problem. I'm not feeling healthy. I'm not feeling healthy. Oh no, I need advice. Advice, please. I'm not feeling healthy right here I'm not feeling healthy I'm not feeling healthy okay advice please I'm not feeling healthy
Air Lady says, "If I were you, I would buy a couple of pairs of shoes." Neva, if I were you, I would make an appointment with the doctor. Timothy, if I were you, I would go to the hospital. Helga, if I were you, I would call the doctor. Hanen, if I were you, I would see the doctor. Oh no, I'm not feeling healthy. I need advice. I'm not feeling healthy. I need advice. Oh, Samuel, if I were you, I would go for a walk outside. Never. If I were you, I would take some rest and eat healthy food. Healthy food. Bethy, if I were you, I would see a doctor. Umesh, if I were you, I would go on a diet. Matza, if I were you, I would see the doctor. Okay, Air Lady, if I were you, I would go to the doctor to check what's going on. Good, good, good. So, Air Lady, this is the pattern I want you to write. If I were you, then I would go to the doctor to check what's going on. What's going on? Okay, good, good, good. Okay, another problem. Here we go. We got another problem. Oh, good, Neva. If I were you, I would start doing exercises in the morning. Very good, Umesh. If I were you, I would get plenty of sleep. That's important. Sleep and exercise. Very important. Oh, Timothy. If I were you, I would take some medicine. Okay, good. Okay, here's another problem. Oh no! I was hurt by a friend. My feelings, like I was, I was hurt by a friend. What should I do? I was hurt by a friend. I'll write that here. I was, I was hurt by a friend. Oh no! I need advice. I was hurt by a friend. I was hurt by a friend. Advice, please. I need advice. I was hurt by a friend. Good, Air Lady. If I were you, I would give advice to go to the doctor to check what's going on. Very good, Air Lady. Okay. Oh no, I was hurt by a friend. So hurt meaning. Like my feelings, right? My heart was hurt by a friend. My feelings. Helga, if I were you, I would talk to your friend. Timothy, if I were you, I would read the Bible. Oh no, I was hurt by a friend. Advice, please. <laughs> No, if I were you, I would slap my your friend. No, don't do that. No violence, <laughs> Air Lady. You're very welcome. Oh, Neva, nice. If I were you, I would tell them you hurt me. I would tell them or tell that person you hurt me. Cecilia, if I were you, I would forgive the friend who. And apologize. Okay, Cecilia, if I were you, I would forgive your friend and ask for an apology. I would forgive your friend and ask for an apology. Matsura, if I were you, I would talk to your friend and go to the doctor. <laughs> okay, good. So remember. Okay, so. I was hurt by a friend. Okay, I was. So you're giving me advice, and so, for example, if I were you, I would talk to your friend. If I were you, I would tell your friend that that person hurt you. Okay, so you're talking to me.
let's see. Uh, Katie, if I were you, I would forgive him. Bethy, that's a good sentence, Katie. If I were you, I would do meditation and take away your anger. So you're talking to me, your anger. Good, good. Umesh, if I were you, I would change your friend's mind. I would change your friend's mind. Okay, good. One more. We got one more. I need, I have one more problem that I need advice for. Here we go. Last one. I'm not satisfied with my work. I'm not satisfied with my work. I'm not satisfied with my work. What should I do? What's your advice? I'm not satisfied with my work. I'm not satisfied with my work. Please give me advice. Mama Jan, hello. So, oh, I'm not satisfied with my work. Advice, please. I'm not satisfied with my work. Advice, please. Umesh, if I were you, I would not worry. <laughs> Good. Don't worry about it. Uh, Neva, if I were you, I, w I wouldn't worry so much about this project. Helga, if I were you, I would look for another work. Timothy, if I were you, I would look for another job. Mama Jan, how are you today? Hanan, if, if I were you, I would look for another work. Oh, I'm not satisfied with my work. Advice, please. Advice, please. Air Lady, if I were you, I would quit your job. Umesh, if I were you, I would contend with it. Katie, if I were you, I would, I would quit and look for another job. Sylvia, if I were you, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care. Mama, I'm good. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, we'll do a couple more minutes. Okay, this is the last one. Please give me advice. I'm not satisfied with my work. Advice, please. I'm not satisfied with my work. Advice, please. All right. Matsura, if I were you, I would try to learn more and imitate another person. Neva, if I were you, I would forget about this work and think about how to get yourself better at this work. Nice, Neva. That's right. Improve, right? How are you going to get better at it? If you're not satisfied, make it better. Yes, I like it. Good, good advice. Helga, if I were you, I would think why I'm not satisfied with your work. Nice. Yep. So do some meditation. Think about what you're doing, why you're doing it and how you can get better. Mama says, Mama Jan says, I don't speak English. That's okay. That's why you're here where we are doing activities. We are doing, um, we are practicing to make your English better. We are doing activities to help your English. We're doing patterns. I'm asking for advice. We're using this pattern. If I were you, I would. So we do lots of practice. We do listening and writing and speaking practice. So keep coming back. Keep at it, Mama, and you will get better. Everybody does. Oh, Bethy. Oh, Amatsura says, if I were you, I would change jobs. Bethy, if I were you, I would talk to a friend for some advice. Yes. Talk to friends. That's great advice. Talk to friends. See what they think about it. Ask for your friend's opinion. 
That's good advice. Uh, Sylvia, if I were you, I would try to change your mind. Neva, if I were you, I would get some advice from your coworkers. Nice, yeah. Consult with your coworkers. See if how they are feeling. Okay, Mama Jan, just keep. We we are here. I'm here every week. We're always doing um, lots of conversation practice. We're doing speaking practice. We're doing writing practice. Okay. Matza is doing very good. So, Matza, you can give advice to Mama Jan. Ha, huh. Lakish, if I were you, I would start another English class. Niva, if I were you, I would learn more about this work. Yeah, good, good, good. All right, good advice, everyone. Yeah, so we practice that. Okay, we got one more. We, we're going to do the quiz now, okay? So let's check out the quiz, what's the best word? Okay, that's the poll number seven. I'm going to write the poll right here. Number seven is the poll. Okay, here we go. Let's let's do the quiz. We got a quiz right now. So in the chat, on top of the chat is a blue box. Let's check it out. Okay, Mama Jen, come here every week. Come here every week. I'm here three days a week right now. Okay, 71 people voted. Mwah, thank you so much, everyone. Okay. I don't know, Air Lady, everything's good here. No problems from any, only you, Air Lady, maybe. Okay, here we go. Are you ready for the quiz? <laughs> here we go, and the sentence is like this. Mm, is a condiment made from mashed avocado. Choose the best word. There are four choices. Salsa, ketchup, mayonnaise, guacamole. <laughs> Which is the best word? The sentence is this. Mm. Is a condiment made from mashed avocado? Is it? Salsa is a condiment made from mashed avocado. Or ketchup is a condiment made from mashed avocado. Or Mayonnaise is a condiment made from mashed avocado. Or last, guacamole is a condiment made from mashed avocado. Which is the best word? <laughs> okay, Bethy, avocado. Let's see. Bet okay, Katie, guacamole. Yeah, is everyone, can you hear me all right? How's the sound? Air Lady says there's something wrong with the sound. Are you having, anybody having problems with the sound? Umesh says guacamole. Matsura says guacamole. Air Lady says guacamole. Okay, Helga's okay. Yeah, I think I'm okay. Air Lady, it's you. It's your computer. Okay, good, Umesh. Timothy, guacamole. That I've never heard of before. It's the best. It's very, very... Okay, Daisy Flower, thank you. Daisy Flower says the sound is good. Yes, that is the answer. Very good, everyone. It is guacamole. So the answer is, the, the best word is guacamole. Guacamole is a condiment made from mashed avocado. So, T 
Timothy, check it out. Go to Google, Google guacamole. Do a, 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 a recipe search for guacamole. It's very delicious. I love guacamole. Okay, yes. Andam, it is guacamole. Very good. Okay, good job, everyone. All right, so good job. <laughs> we did it. We did lots of activities today. You did good job. Nice sentences, everyone. Tomorrow, I can't be here tomorrow because I have a class tomorrow at the university. So our next class is on Tuesday, okay? Tuesday. Helga, I have never eaten guacamole. I have never eaten guacamole. It's very, oh, you can see it, Timothy. It's delicious. I love it. So it's, it's a condiment. It's good on eggs, right? So if you like eggs, it's good on eggs, um, like an egg sandwich, or just put a, a scoop on top of egg, and it's very delicious. It, it's good for a dip, just a snack. Get a corn chip and dip it. Take the corn chip, dip it into the guacamole, eat it. It's delicious. <laughs> You should try it. I recommend it for everyone. Okay, our next class is going to be, I'm looking at the calendar over there, 16th, May 16th. I will be back Tuesday, 5 p.m., May 16th. So, so please come back on Tuesday next week for another live stream class. And everyone have a, tomorrow is Saturday. And we have the weekend coming up. Have a great weekend. Smile. Be safe. Stay healthy. And I will see you next week. Okay? So, everyone, take it easy. Oh, I'm going to tonight, later tonight, I will um, have a premiere. So, please come back and we can chat in my premiere video tonight, 10 p.m. Japan time. It's not a live stream. It's just a video premiere video and um, you can chat with me tonight 10 p.m. Japan time. You're welcome Helga. Gozi. Gozi. Oh, thank you. Gozi Dozi. <laughs> I like your name. Gozi Dozi. Very good name. <laughs> I like it. Thank you for being. I'm going to be here next week. Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday right now. Usually I'm on Saturday, but um, for the next two months, I have a class at the university. So um, for now, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, 5 p.m. Japan time. I live in Japan, so 5 p.m. Japan time. Wednesday, 5 p.m. Japan time. Friday, 10 a.m. Japan time. Okay. Daisy Flower, thank you so much. Mwah. Yes, Air Lady, peace and love. Mwah. And thank you, Samuel, Timothy, Mama Jam, thank you for being here. And remember, support me on Patreon and you get all the worksheets, all the worksheets, all the worksheets and cards we do, they're on my Patreon. Support me there. There's lots and lots of worksheets. Also, um, join the channel. Your name's in green. Support me so I can support you. I have a website, markkulik.com. There, you can download worksheets and flashcards that go with my video. So, Patreon, the worksheets, you can um, get the worksheets from the live stream. And then on my website, the, the worksheets on my videos. And of course, I have books at Amazon.com. Everything's in the link, so check those out, please. That'd be fabulous. That'd be great. Okay, so have a great weekend. Smile. Peace and love, everyone. Stay safe. Be healthy. Okay, let's say goodbye together. Let's count down to saying goodbye together, shall we? Are you ready? Here we go. Together. Five, four, three, two one okay thank you so much everyone have a great weekend i will be i will be back on tuesday may 16th 5 p.m japan time i hope to see you then take it easy
Bye-bye. Thank you.